Okay. So the Cauchy bound for the roots of a polynomial is a way to figure out uh, where all the real roots of a certain polynomial live. So let's take an example here. Let's look at this polynomial. 3x to the fourth plus 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. The way, the, the way that you want to start this problem is we want to construct this set where we take all of the coefficients divided by the leading coefficient. This is the leading coefficient, 3. So we take the absolute value. So here we're going to get 3 divided by 3, absolute value. That's going to give us 1. We're going to get the absolute value of 6 over 3, which is 2. We're going to get the absolute value of minus 2 over 3, which is just 2 thirds. And we're going to get the absolute value of 1 third. Okay. Now we're going to take the biggest of this set. We're going to take the max of that set, which is 1, 2, 2 thirds, and 1 third. So what is the max of that set? It's 2. We're going to take that maximum. We're going to add 1 to it. That's going to give us 3. And that tells us that all of our roots lie between minus 3 and 3. Okay? And this is, this is the Cauchy bound right here, this interval. This interval tells us that all the roots, all the roots of this polynomial any place where this polynomial is zero, any x, right? So the root of a polynomial, hopefully you know that the root of a polynomial is any place, is those values of x for which p of x equals zero, and all those x's have to live in here. They have to be between minus three and three. That's what the Cauchy bound guarantees, and that is how you go through calculating it. Okay, so take your favorite polynomial in practice, and I'll talk to you later.